I'm always looking out for new tools for creative reasons or to have fun. I always, always feel like a little kid every time I have a new piece of kit in my hands even if it's only for a limited amount of time. I've used multiple times in the past an optical snoot. If you don't know what an optical snoot is, check out the link down below. I made a review on the Pixar Pro optical snoot. It's that neat little tool that allows me to create these crazy shapes with my light. Now, an optical snoot only works with the flash, with strobes, and I sometimes use continuous lights. So I was wondering if a spotlight attachment could give me the same or similar results, and if I was able to use that tool, the spotlight attachment, in my work. Let's find out. This will be a two-part video. In this one, we will concentrate on the use of the spotlight attachments for your photography work. And then in the second part, I will show you how you can use it in your video work. The thing is heavy. There is a lot of glass involved. That front part that lets you focus the light has to be manipulated carefully. When you attach it to a COB light that has a balance mount, the entire thing eats up a lot of space. I'm really glad I did my first tests at home because the entire thing is not easy to set up and not easy to move around. You know that when I work at home, I work in a tiny space. So when the light is placed, it barely moves afterwards. You don't always have to use your lights, your shapes, your spotlights directly on your model. You can also use it to give a little bit of texture, a little bit of depth, a visual interest on your backdrops. So when you are using gobos, when you shape your light with the spotlight, you can more precisely direct your model and shape your scene.
The drawback of using continuous lights is that I make shorter sessions because if you have only one light facing your model, chances are they will get eye fatigue pretty quickly. So what do these sessions have in common? Dark, saturated tones and colors, high contrast and deep shadows. For this type of look, I prefer using continuous LED lights. I can get to that result much faster. Now, if I had only COB lights at home or unless I'm really looking for that specific look, I'm not sure I will use the spotlight attachment and the continuous lights for my portrait work. I'd rather choose the optical snoot that I can use with my flashes that will give me more power, that will give me more creative options. Now I feel I am repeating myself. It all comes down to the type of work that you do. So I really can't answer that question for you, whether or not this tool is right for you or not. Now it also depends if you are mainly a photographer or if you do also a bit of video because for videographers, for filmmakers, this tool can be an awesome tool in your toolbox. But this will be developed in part two. But before I end this video, something else I wanna point out, I wanna talk about the packaging. Yes, the bag that comes with it is really great. Everything is well packed and secured in the included bag. Now, I haven't talked about the overall build of the Godox VSA, and the reason for that is pretty simple. It's really, really, really well made. I'm really feeling confident in attaching any of my lights directly on it. I did a few tests, played with the spotlight attachment for a few videos, so I'm gonna share these tests with you in part two so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was away for some time, but I'm back. So please hit that notification bell down below if you don't want to miss my next post. Please take care. And until the next one, have a good one.